I wanted to talk to you today about something I've never talked about on my videos. And that is about wandering and the approach of wandering the world and being completely open to the unknown. Um, you know, I, I write books and I put my experiences in there, but I think uh, I'm just really inspired to talk about the actual wandering part of it where um, when I went around the world without an itinerary, buying one-way tickets along the way, you're just open to something that you're, it's completely unknown. And what happens is you open yourself in a way that I think I'm ready to do another pilgrimage. It's more of a pilgrimage because you're meeting other people from all over the world, from every other country imaginable, and you never would have met those people if you weren't wandering and open to the unknown. And it's perceived oftentimes as something like a just a vacation, but it's really not. When you're doing um, personal transformation, let's just come right out and call it that, and going to stay in a monastery, I've stayed in many monasteries and nunneries, and meeting people that are incredibly wise, it rubs off what they think and what they impart to you. And you wouldn't have met them if you didn't go on this open-ended journey. So you're getting something so valuable, it can't even be measured. And so then it turns into a pilgrimage because you're open in this way that you just, you know, being back in the modern world, um, I'm trying to balance it right now as to the next path for me. And I'm thinking and remembering of my wanderings and realizing that it's a beautiful way to approach life because you can't really know the quantifiable ending but you change in the process. So it's it's not like you're just going to go somewhere for a week and have kind of a recharge, which is great. You're actually going to change from the inside out. But you don't know how you're going to change. So um, I remember in India and in Rishikesh on the banks of the Ganga River, um, Swami Chitananda, uh, was uh, helping a friend of mine and <laughs> she was struggling and she came back and said she had told him about what was going on and he said he opened his hands and said surrender and I, you know I never really heard that word until he said it that way um, it's not so easy to do but it is something that we almost always get to when we let go of uh, what we think is supposed to happen. And I'm working on that every day. So um, I just had to share that about wandering because you can wander in your everyday life too. You can be open to new things. You can not know what's going to come next. You get guided. So in this new year, be sure and let yourself follow what you're feeling compelled to follow, but you're not really sure why and it's completely unknown. Just do it and then tell me how it goes. <laughs> Happy New Year.